friends, you are in for a treat today. Welcome to the third annual cutest video hop ever. We've got lots of sponsors and over a thousand dollars in prizes, so be sure to stop by at each video blog hop stop and leave a comment and all the support for our wonderful artists today. Hey everybody, it's me, Stephen Person here, and I'd like to introduce you to our four kids. Hi, I'm Noah. Hi, I'm Evan. Hi, I'm Liam. Hi, I'm Lila. We are making a fun lawn fawn shutter card for you today. So let's get started. Okay, so here we have four different pieces of paper cut from four different dies. We have the main card base, the decorative piece for the front, the shutter panels, two of those. And then we have decorative panels for the front, cut from patterned paper, and once again, two of those. I'm going to flip through the patterned paper pack to show you what that looks like. All right, now that we have all of our parts cut out, we're going to go ahead and push that aside, or Lila will, and then she will show you all the colored images that I've done off camera and show you what we're going to put on our card today. There's a stack of books, baby bear, ma bear, some yarn, and then a cup of coffee, and daddy bear. Now we're going to make the decorative piece for the front. This frame picture is cut in a circle shape and is slightly smaller than the bottom piece, which is cut from the same pattern pack. I'm attaching the two together using foam tape to give it dimension. Now we can decorate the card base, but first we have to score all the lines and attach the front side panels. I'm going to use a bone folder to burnish the score lines that are imprinted on the card base from the die. I've scored the sides and now I need to score the top and bottom flaps in towards the center of the card. Okay, so after Evan scores those and burnishes those score lines, he's going to add some adhesive to these side panels that we've die cut using the pattern paper from earlier that Liam showed us. And then he'll center it on the side panels and then push it down to make sure that it's in place. We can decorate the inside now and what we need for the front flap can be made by using a piece of cardstock cut to two and a half inches by four and seven eighths inches. Or you can die cut a second piece from the largest die and trim it down by cutting off the sides where the flaps end and then cut off the flaps. We want to give this piece some color, so I'm going to ink blend the bottom of this panel using some vintage photo distress oxide ink. Noah's ink blending for the first time and he's following my instructions by starting off of the card panel and ink blending towards the panel in a circular motion. He's going to add more color towards the end or the bottom and then just work his way towards the center. And then mommy takes over of course. This flag shaped piece is to help us center the circle die to cut a window for the shutter mechanism. To do this we line up the flag with the top right hand corner then line up the circle to match the round notch on the flag. We will hold that in place with scotch tape, then run it through the die cutting machine. Thank you Noah for your help. Noah by the way is turning 14 next month so he is getting a little old for this but he was a great sport and helped us for the first half of the card and now Lila is going to help us with the remainder of the card along with her two older brothers. Hi it's Lila again. I'm going to help my fold these pieces down. I like using mommy's tools. She does. She's helping me burnish down these folds here and then I'm <laughs> she tries to take the dot runner from me and I do help her but she is going to be the one in charge of adding adhesive to the flaps for those shutter portions and then she's going to help me line them up there are score lines from the die cut that um, aided us with the alignment of these wood shutters now we're going to add daddy bear to this to the center I was going to do a mommy takeover, but Lila decided to go ahead and adhere this piece down for me. She's adding the adhesive. First she's left-handed and then she's right. So we are uh, waiting for her here to add some adhesive and then I will flip this panel over and center in that window space. And you'll notice that I did die cut it originally or stamp it on a piece of circle cardstock. It was just a piece of scrap cardstock, so you do not need to stamp it on a circle piece of paper. Hi, it's Liam again. Mommy's helping me pull down all the sides so that I can put the center panel down. 
Okay, so once that center piece is adhered down, we are going to make sure that our shutter mechanism opens and closes with ease. What's next, Liam? We're, we are going to glue down the circle piece on the front. We've got this circular decorative panel that we created at the beginning of the video, and Liam's going to help me add some adhesive to the right half of that piece, and then we're just going to attach it right over that window on the outside of the card. Lila is helping me with placement right now on the rest of the images that I've colored off camera. She does a really good job applying that adhesive and then helping me attach it all to create our scene in our den. There's a die that cuts slots where Mama Bear's hands are, so I am sliding her knitting project under her hands and gluing them in place. Okay, so Lila is helping me add tape runner to all of these images and I am just going to adhere them down for her. Last but not least, we need to add a sentiment. We should have done this part before adding this panel to the flaps on the card, but it works to do it now too. And that finishes this Bear Den Scene Shutter Card today, brought to you by Noah, Evan, Liam, and Lila Person. Bye, Bye everyone. everyone! There are over a thousand dollars in prizes, so be sure to stop by and view each video and leave a comment for all of the videos along the way. I don't post here very often, but I'd love it if you'd subscribe and hit that notifications button so that you'll be notified when I have a new video on my channel. Thanks so much again for stopping by and have a great day everyone. Bye!